So if I look on the right hand side, we've got panels. Okay, each of these panels has got various functionality underneath it. If I click on the pages panel once, that pops out. I've got one page at the moment. If I want to add in a new page, I just come down here, create a new page, click on that once, and it also takes me to that page. Okay, I can normally tell by the white text on a black background here, or down towards the bottom left hand corner, you can see it's got page number two there. I can also navigate here via what I call DVD type controllers, where I go previous or next. And in that little drop down as well, I've got various pages I can jump to straight away there. Now, at the moment I'm on page two, so if I want to delete that, I just click on the trash can and it deletes the page and it puts me back onto page one. I can click on the layers panel, I can click on the links panel, I got various functionality through these. Color, we're not going to use because that's going to give us RGB color. Swatches is our friend because it gives us CMYK color. So the way I think of it is color is evil, swatches is good. So what we can do is change what we call the workspace. So this means that we can go from the default, which is essentials, to advanced. Now advanced gives us 10 panels over the previous six. Okay, so you can see here, I've got all the ones I had before. I've not got color, I've got paragraph styles and character styles. Okay, so we'll be using them a bit later on. So what I can also do though, with panels in general, is drag them. So here, I'm dragging the pages panel across. I can also drag another panel underneath that. Ooh, see that? Ooh, I've got a panel group. So that means that I can sort of move them together. Click on this little arrow towards the right-hand corner, and that expands them so I can see the contents of those panels at the same time, or click again, and that contracts them back to where they were. Also over here, in the top right-hand corner, click into there, I can see all the contents at once click again, and it puts it back. Now I can drag these back as well. Drag them here, ooh, there. Okay, when it goes like a like a blue color, I can drag them back in. Now, the problem at the moment is that the workspace is as I left it. So if I want to go back to default, I go back up to the workspace area and select, in this case, reset. Okay, so I recommend that when you're back in the office that you change your workspace immediately from what is the essentials to advance, but also once you've done that, hit reset.